What's up guys, Wise Primitive here, and what am I gonna do tonight? Netflix and chill. There's some TV show trending in the media these days, and it's called Narcos. Basically, narco traffickers, drugs, money, power, and violence. Etc, etc, you know the drill. The main two protagonists are an American CIA agent and a criminal, who could also be referred to as a hero. It's all about you to decide on which side you're on. Pablo Escobar was a notorious Colombian drug lord whose empire grew to such lengths that he became one of the most powerful men in the world. The following are 5 interesting things to know about his extremely wealthy and influential life. Pablo Escobar was born in Rio Negro in Colombia. His father was a farmer and his mother was an elementary school teacher. But Pablo had other plans. On the streets of Medellin he started his criminal career in his teens. Not a big deal back then and neither it is now, but yeah. He used to steal tombstones, and blast the names of them and sell them to smugglers in Panama. He used to tell his friends that he would be a millionaire by the time he was 22. He surely succeeded. He also wanted to become the president of Colombia. Ambitious. Why not? Before becoming a drug lord, Pablo stole cars, sold contraband cigarettes and fake lottery tickets and even kidnapped a Medellin executive. Earning 100,000 as ransom, which is loads of money. In 1970s, Pablo entered the drug trade. In 1975, he got the local drug lord murdered took over his organization and expanded operations. Soon, Escobar controlled all crime in Medellin and was responsible for 80% of the cocaine that was transported to the United States. This cocaine had to be transported somehow, so Pablo smuggled cocaine in old plane tires and Pilot could earn as much as 500,000 depending on the amount smuggled. It is estimated that at one point, 70 to 80 tons of cocaine was being smuggled every month from Colombia to the United States. Apart from planes, two small remote-controlled submarines were used to smuggle the massive load. Like, wow, I'm sure it used to compete with potatoes to make those delicious fries. At its peak, the Medellin drug cartel was smuggling 15 tons of cocaine per day, worth more than half a million dollars, just to the United States. Escobar quickly became one of the wealthiest men in the world, having more illegal money than he could deposit in banks. He stored bricks of cash in the warehouse where 10% of it was lost. Guys, you won't believe this because rats would eat it or it would be damaged by water moisture. His accountant said that they would spend $2,500 a month just to purchase rubber bands to wrap around the cash. Soon enough, Forbes magazine listed him as the 7th richest man in the world, with a personal wealth of close to 25 billion. He had so many contacts he could order killings anywhere, anytime. With great illegal power comes great illegal responsibility. Pablo Escobar's disciplined ways of dealing with his enemies was plata o plomo, meaning silver or lead. If someone got in his way, he would first bribe him out, and if it didn't work, then that person was ordered to be killed. Escobar was responsible for killing Colombian presidential candidates, an attorney general, a justice minister, more than 200 judges, 1,000 police officers, and dozens of journalists. Absolutely crazy. Sources online say that Escobar's life was crazier than that depicted in the show, because of course there's a limit to how much you can portray of one person's life on film. However, he started off from nothing and made something out of his life. Yeah, although what he did was illegal, he used a large portion of his cash towards good causes. Hence, there are two completely different sides to his story. Now, Escobar is dead. Things in Colombia have changed, but what do you guys think? Should Escobar be named as a hero or a villain? With that said, this ends the list of things you didn't know about Pablo Escobar, also known as the King of Coke. Thanks for watching, hope you're a little more wiser, and see you on the next one.